All right, guys, I'm heading over to Semper Sharp's uh, shop to pick up the flay knife to take dip netting tonight. Uh, so up here in Alaska, um, if you're a resident for over a year, you can, you're qualified to dip net, which is basically you get to, when the salmon runs come in, you get to take a three to five foot net and uh, go slay some salmon. So it ends up being a lot of processing, um, fish processing afterwards. So my family and I, we can get a total of 75 fish each year, which is a ton of salmon, but we'll, we go through it all every year. It opens tonight at midnight uh, up in the Copper River up here in Alaska, and that's where a lot of the really good um, salmon comes from. So we're gonna head over, pick up the knives, uh, and then go get the dip nets, and then pack up and head out about a five hour drive north of uh, where we are here in Wasilla. So yeah, let's go, uh, let's go get the knives. So this is a knife I made for a buddy of mine, Mike Michaud. Um, I didn't make Josh's this sharp though because I was worried they'd cut himself, but Mike can probably stitch himself back up, so. All right, so here's the test. This is uh, like magazine paper. It's real uh, clumsy. Fold it in half. No fancy tricks. I'll just prop it up there. You're like a magician. I know. I just can't put it back together after I cut it. <laughs> oh. Oh yeah, that's sharp. <laughs> <laughs> that is sharp. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, we're getting some uh, trash cans emptied out to put the fish in. We got the uh, dip nets in here, cooler, cans are going there. We're ready to hit the road. <laughs> yeah. It was glorious. Yeah. 
That is a king right there. And that's gonna be some good eating. Mm. Chinook salmon. Look at that. Yeah. This thing's pretty sweet. This definitely cuts better than any other knife I've used. So, and I'm not just saying that because I like Semper Sharp, but this really is an awesome handle and uh, blade. So, we'll, uh, we have quite a bit more to do. We're gonna move spots and then uh, go slay some more. today and sore uh, we got 106 108 fish yesterday or something um, a lot to wait we have two uh, good sized coolers packed already and we're gonna go out today try to get another 50 or 100 depending on uh, where we can find the spot they're running so yeah uh, man love it up here this is this beats the Kenai if you haven't dip netted um, up here on the copper, definitely need to do that because this is a far better experience than uh, combat fishing down on the Kenai. So, uh, yep, good day yesterday. Uh, we're ready to hit it again today. How you feeling, Mike? Uh, pretty dang good. I actually am super excited to try this. It's a new backpacker's pantry or like a mountain house type meal, pad thai. It's got a little peanut butter pouch with it, little seasoning set packet. So uh, I'm kind of excited to try this for breakfast this morning. We killed yesterday. It was an amazing day of fishing. We uh, had glorious weather and the uh, the salmon were in and uh, Josh and I were calculating last night and what, what did it come out to like? 6,300 bucks. 6,300 That normal <laughs> price per pound. If we, at $18 per pound is what we uh, calculated if we had 350 pounds of fish, which I think is fairly reasonable um, estimate given how heavy the cooler was and and what we had uh, had in there so cool. get some food on and uh, get ready to get fish uh, on get back out there yeah yeah so <laughs> 900 calories oh it's per, for the whole it's, oh, per so serving 40 grams of protein then yeah dang all right let's see Looks almost like pad thai.
That's not bad. That's actually not bad. Nice guys. You guys did do good? We did, yes sir. Yeah, we're gonna head back out today. How about you guys? Heading out today for the first time. Awesome. Cool, good luck guys. Yeah, you too. using my uh, Semper Sharp custom fillet knife here. And uh, what I'm gonna do with this guy is I'm just gonna gut him and I'm gonna head him because I haven't decided if I wanna smoke these fillets whole or if I wanna stake some of this out. Uh, I go to visit family actually on Monday in Arizona and California. So I'm gonna be bringing them fresh Copper River salmon that is two days old. So I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with this guy yet. So I'm just gonna fillet this guy a little bit differently to start here. Look at that belly, man. And oh, that's gorgeous. And I've been using the uh, male pronoun. Well, you'll have to forgive me because this is quite clearly a oh, lady. A queen. <laughs> So, uh, this is actually a test of a knife right here. It's actually pretty difficult. I'm gonna come around and cut just right through the bottom of the gill plate here. Like bottom. And then just run right up in front of that. Right through. Take that whole head, just like that. Now, it's a little bit extra, and I don't know if there's even any real reason for it, but I had someone tell me once, there's a vein that runs, the, one of the big blood vessels runs right through the middle here. And so I actually like to take a second and just push the blood right out of there before my meat goes into cool.
All right, well, that is a wrap for the fishing season uh, this year for us, dip netting up here. Uh, we walked away with 112. This Today was a pretty slow day, and uh, the spot we were killing it at yesterday was taken. I guess uh, early, early bird gets a good spot. So uh, pro tip, make sure you get out early when you do that. Um, anyway, yeah, we're gonna head out. Just got everything loaded up, packed up. We're gonna head home and finish processing all the fish. So good trip and uh, look forward to next year.